Hello YouTube and welcome to another tutorial. So today I'm going to talk about useful utility called TCP view. So are you ready? Let's get started. So actually TCP view allows you to monitor your active TCP IP ports and connections. So the first thing to do is to download it. So you go to your Google search engine and you type TCP view as you can see here. So the first link you get is actually a Microsoft link as you can see here. So you get the download link on the right. So it's a very small program actually. So when you download this file, it's a zip file and once decompressed you get your file which is called tcp view so i'm gonna launch it so once it started it's going to show me all the connections that are active right now as you can see here i get the process name and the PID, the process ID, the protocol, and local address, local port, remote address, and remote port. And here, the state of the connections. And of course, you get other columns that display the sent packet, sent bytes, received packet, received bytes. And one of the most interesting things is that you can sort each column for example here I'm sorting by the receive bytes so you can see that this program here which is my browser Chrome is actually the one that is consuming a lot of bandwidth so you can use the CP view in order to troubleshoot your connections or to see which process is consuming lot of uh, bandwidth you can also double click each one of this process and you get the information about the process the path of the program that is executing this process as you can see here and also you get from time to time some colors here actually these colors shows us a very important information for example for the green color it means that new open connections for red color it, it shows uh, the connections that have been closed and for yellow actually it display when the connection state has changes okay so it's a very useful tool for troubleshooting and also for seeing what's going on between the lines or in the background of your PC and of course you get a menu here for example you can also if you monitor some uh, abnormal connections you can terminate the process here by just double clicking on the process and end process you can also right click on it and end process or close the connection and the other menu actually just shows us some properties that we can change for example here you can display the IP address or you can resolve your IP addresses for example if I click this little button here you can resolve so now I get the name instead of the IP address and also for the ports I get the name for the well-known ports you can also change the refresh rate for example here I'm choosing the refresh rate of two seconds I can even pause in order to see what's going on so it's a very useful and uh, handy utility that you can use in your everyday tasks 
in order to troubleshoot your connections or monitor it. So I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.